It's okay on the first stuff, I guess. A Rebel Jor at this year, same goal as every year, you know, I'm trying to get down the course the best run I can. I tasted victory last year for the first time ever, so it will be amazing to taste it again. Yeah, this event is basically every mountain bike slope style rider's dream to win, so that's the goal. Let's try to go out there and get that top spot. So much pressure that goes um, into this event. I mean, pressure from just how immense we know this event is. You know, we all want to do so well. We put so much pressure on ourselves to to do well. So there's so much pressure involved. Um, but it honestly, just kind of hits you more when you're in the gate, ready to drop. All those nerves, all that pressure, kind of hits you. When you're uh, over the course of the week, you're just enjoying riding with the, with the boys, enjoying Whistler, enjoying just being part of Joe Ride because. Uh, it's really an amazing event, so uh, pressure is there as always, especially here at the biggest event we have in slope style. Our bikes get so beat up on this course, you know, it's massive impacts all, all over, you know, even though it's it's an incredibly smooth course. The impacts after all the tricks and testing all the tricks, it's quite rough. So having um, good components on the bike, good wheels, just makes you so much more confident to push yourself and do maneuvers uh, that you don't know if they're gonna work. It makes it uh, possible to push yourself and do some, some bigger tricks where you might be landing sideways, might be landing not ideal. So uh, yeah, it's essential. Joyride is uh, not a bad day. It's mountain bikers' dream to be out here riding this. So thanks, Wes, for being so epic, and uh, I'll be back.